I think these guys deserve the rest a little bit more than I do. So, uh, a really good team win. I thought our, we said this morning at shoot around that our defense would win us the game. Our offense would dictate by how much. Um, and obviously our defense was outstanding. That's a high-powered offensive team. To hold them to 31% shooting is, is just really, really good. Uh, and then I thought for like the first 10 minutes, or what was it, seven, eight minutes of the second half, we were at a really high level. Um, and then we, then we hung on. You know, I, I might have messed up some of our guys' rhythm because usually we sub pretty quick, but then I was like, we got going. I felt like we could, we went a little bit longer, and so I, I might have messed up our rhythm. That's on me. But these three guys are sensational. I mean, how, how about the way, you know, big baskets, Allen, big basket, making big free throws, uh, Brian's defense, and the Kai gave us great presence. Uh, not many centers, uh, you know, uh, are doing what he does: rebounding, defending, passing it. And you know, if we're going to get where we think we can get to, th th these are three guys, you know, playing in my mind at an all-conference level. And, and we tried to strain with those guys today, and they really came through for us. Really proud of them. Yeah, I mean, we want to get him the ball. He's one. He scores. He makes. He makes good decisions. Uh, he's tough. He's kind of like the the. Well, not kind of. He is like the heartbeat of the the team. So now when he's scoring inside, and then I got these two wings that that guard, rebound, pass, score it. That, that that's we got a really good inside outside balance. Was just their zones kind of difficult to play against? Was that the tough issue? No, we didn't see a ton of ton of zones. I, I think um, I thought you know uh, probably did a bad job play calling. To be honest, I thought our guys tried to execute pretty good. Thought we just got some shots that that we missed, maybe out of rhythm for a little bit. I thought the second half we looked really in rhythm. Um, we had a big time play. I think it was A B drove at baseline, um, found Brian open shot. Like the, the ball really started moving. It, it, it was it's fun to watch when you see that. Uh, I'm a tank, so I <laughs> <laughs> gotta brush that off, as he would say, it's a long way from your heart. <laughs> um, for you, I mean, I think you had four points in the first half, and then you had to come back and score 11, I think, in the second. Um, what was the key to you in sort of finding your rhythm in that second half? Uh, just staying the course, making the right plays. The plays is gonna help my team, and my plays found me. Five, like AB, dishing the ball up to me, looking for me. You look forward to that matchup against Wilson? Oh, yeah. I mean, they knocked us out last year, so we had that marked on our calendar for a little bit. Brian, you seemed to get it going late that first half on that. I think it was Pearl. You scored in that drive. Mm -hmm. Did that sort of help you go, get it going offensively? I mean, yeah, just keep attacking and staying aggressive. Uh, in the first half, I wasn't, you know, uh, shot wasn't going in, but that's fine. I just keep going. And, uh, my teammates kept feeding me the ball, so. Uh, it feels good. Um, we have a lot of energy in the locker room. We're connected. Um, we can just, if we can just keep it going, it'll be helpful. For Alan and Brian, um, what's the dangerous part about guarding uh, number five, Darius Banks? Uh, he can get hot at any time. He's, he, last year he shot the ball better, but this year he's struggling. But this <coughs> game he was, he was hooping. So you got to contain him, control his drives, and keep him in front. They, they made a good adjustment that we didn't. Um, that we'll be prepared for next time around. They cut him some shots in, in the second half. Was, uh, we tried to adjust a little bit to it on the fly, but uh, that's that's hard. That's hard to do. So cr credit credit to them. You know. Speaking of adjustments, the big run to open the second half has kind of been a trend with um, here recently. Did you? Is that something that you look for coming out of the halftime? That you know maybe there's going to be some things that you guys can change that will. Um, you know, try to stay consistent defensively. I, I, I've really enjoyed coaching these guys. They they not only work hard and are talented, but they're they're really good guys, and you, you want them to have the success that you know they can have. So it, it's and, and I think we're just getting closer and closer to seeing that. What I, what I liked today was I didn't like that we gave up a lead, but I liked the way we had a couple big possessions. I, I think Allen got a big bucket for us when also they made a run. He just drove and scored. like those were big plays that I don't know early in the year if we were ready to make against some good teams. I feel like we we are now. Like, I don't know if we could have won a game early in the year shooting three for 18 from three and, and had a commanding lead. That's hard to do in, the, in this league. And I just think we're, we're, we're really, these guys are really coming together and have a good feel for each other. Yeah, they, they, they work. There's a lot of gym rats. So, you know, we want to get to the line and, and 
Um, he's really imp improved <coughs> since we got him, and these two guys are in the top, I think, five, five in the league making foul shots. So it's, that, that's a great luxury late game as a coach, knowing you have guys that can knock down foul shots. Uh, very critical because when they're getting on the run, um, it was hard to make a miss. So make those key free throws are um, <clears throat> what set it. So. Coach, the Dukes, um, great offensive rebounding. And there was a lot of times in the second half they had second, third, fourth. There was one where they had a fifth look at a basket. Uh, what kind of factors come into play uh, that you think gave uh, JMU such good advantage? Well, they're, they're a good team. There's a lot of talent. I mean, they had great wins in the non-conference. Fordham, East Carolina, Old Dominion, Charlotte. So we have great respect for my I, I think we... we we missed some blockouts, and I think there's a when you get up, there's an inclination for guys to try to leak out a little bit. Um, versus, and you know, we won by five on the glass, so we'll we'll, we'll take that. But you know, I, I think we're capable of better, and you know, I'm just happy. Like I so said, we've won four in a row. It, we're back in in the race. There's still a lot of basketball left, and, and we'll try to get better next week before we go on the road. This has been a fun group to travel with, um, and you know, we got to get better next week to have to have some success. You talking about the road ahead, um, the rest of the conference. Um, not to be scoreboard watching, but William and Mary lost today. I saw that. Uh, they so got beat pretty good. Yeah. What does that say about the, just the top to bottom, uh, just the dispersion of talent? Well, we, we know it's a great league. It's arguably the best mid-major league in the country. I, I think we're just focused on how do we get better so that we have a chance to win Thursday night. If we can keep doing that, then you know the results will take care of itself. We've got to continue to put ourselves in a position. These guys have worked like that. They want it. and, and um, Yeah, I can't say enough. I really like my club, really like coaching these guys.